In our country, Zambia, 50% of the deaths occur outside the health facility. It means that 50% of these deaths will not have medical certificates of the cause of death. In our country, and I think in every society, communities are always concerned as to why people die. We've been concerned about why people die from time immemorial. Since 2015, Bloomberg Philanthropy's Data for Health Initiative and the CDC Foundation have supported Zambia's efforts to modernize its civil registration and vital statistics, CRVS, systems. The more data they have, the more informed health officials can be in determining public health policies, shaping emergency responses, and allocating resources. When we know how many people are dying, and also what they are dying from, that will really help us in preventing certain problems in terms of health interventions that should be taken care of. One of the major challenges that we are facing is paper. The whole country actually is paper-based. So we've been working to see how best we can improve this with support from partners, how we can make these tools be digitized. With support from Data for Health, the country is moving away from paper-based systems to digital systems for real-time data collection. The effort is having an impact. By 2023, 42% of deaths nationwide were registered. And today, 98% of deaths in the country's most populous district of Lusaka are registered. When deaths occur outside of a medical facility, it's crucial to record that data. For community deaths, trained personnel conduct verbal autopsies to assign and record the most likely cause of death. These data are integrated into the national CRVS system. Verbal autopsies help the government at large and public health for policy making to see what these communities are lacking, whether it be it hospitals or quick response to medication for the betterment of their health. It makes me feel honored to be part of the team, contributing to something that is bringing change at a huge scale. Integrating new technologies with in-person investigation ensures the CRVS system accurately reflects the health sector's readiness to address threats and the community's access to medical and civil services. Through the Data for Health initiative, over 5,000 physicians have been trained in medical certification practices, strengthening the CRVS system's ability to provide reliable and comprehensive data. Medical legal death investigations bring closure to the family. They literally bring a sense of knowledge why their relative has died, but also within a community level, the community gets to know what is killing them. And when they know what is killing them, then the community can intervene. The Data for Health initiative has trained 64 public health workers to write policy recommendations through the Data to Policy program, resulting in a number of policy adoptions, including a universal HIV testing program for children and maternal health care interventions to prevent excessive blood loss postpartum. Collecting data is important because you need the data to convince your decision makers. We have a lot of children dying of HIV and a lot of children unidentified positive that we know 75% will die before they're five years old. So the data informed us about the seriousness of the problem. Since now is growing, it's important to know how we are living. So I'm so excited that the child is okay. We don't just collect the data and shelf it or pack it in the cabinets. We want to go beyond the numbers. Why should one woman die from postpartum hemorrhage and yet the other woman was saved from the same complication? We would not have done these activities without input from several key partners. Bloomberg Philanthropies has provided not only technical support, but also financial support. We are extremely thankful and it has allowed the different teams to come together to do this amazing work. Understanding the cause of death is only part of the picture. Preventing death is the ultimate goal. By capturing more efficient and accurate data, Zambia is improving healthcare, developing targeted interventions, preventing disease, shaping policies, providing closure to families, and ultimately saving lives. By turning data into action, Zambia is building a stronger public health system and a healthier future for its people.